tragic drowning as area safety crews reminding everyone of dangerous lurking in area rivers. The body of 38 year old James Sadler was pulled from this area of the Appomattox River in Colonial Heights yesterday. Our right news reporter Jason Guy joins us now live with the latest. Jason. Well, Amy, we are here along the James River. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day, nice breeze, really inviting, sort of calling us to the river. Uh, but boy, it can be a reminder of how dangerous and deadly the river is after that death yesterday. And just behind me here, we've got this group out. They're part of a program called SEAL Team Physical Training, Inc. They're about to put some kayaks in the water and, and do a little bit of training out here today. Uh, but certainly, safety, they say, is a key reminder for them. Now, let's show you some video. This was the scene yesterday down in Colonial Heights when a man's body was pulled from the river there. We're told 38 year old James Sadler was carrying his nephew on his shoulders when he went under. His 10 year old nephew managed to make it to shore safely. Now, this morning we spoke to the director of the SEAL team program. He's 10 year Navy SEAL. Now he just gets Richmonders fit. And he says, you know, before they get on the water, there's a serious training program to make sure that they'll be safe out there. Of course, with SEAL team PT on the river, you have to have a life vest. But before anyone can kayak with us, swim with us, we do a three hour water safety class because the river uh, looks calm, but it's very powerful. And that's certainly what we are noticing today. It does look like a calm, inviting day, but the, these folks, they know before they get out on that water, they have to be trained. And they said even though the river level is below that five feet mark, they will all be wearing life vests. They're not taking any kind of chances out there on the water. And uh, certainly uh, some great advice there from the uh, Richmond Department of Parks and Rec as we've been talking throughout the morning. Even though it's not mandatory to wear a life vest, it's a good reminder you should never go in the river if you don't know how to swim. And then they also say never go down to the river and swim by yourself. Always take a buddy. Amy. Good safety advice. Thanks, Jason. Our other top stories today, Chesterfield Police searching for.